Now switching gears to the practice questions on acid-base physiology. So number one, the nurse is caring for a client with a three-day history of severe diarrhea. The nurse will monitor this client for signs and symptoms or manifestations of which acid-base imbalance. So go ahead and pause the screen and try your best to answer this question in about 60 seconds or less. Okay, this question is asking the nurse will monitor for which signs and symptoms or manifestations of which acid-base imbalance. For the key problem here, a three-day history of severe explosive diarrhea. Okay, maybe not explosive, but you get the point. So before looking at the options, always think. If it comes out the acidosis, like diarrhea, then it's metabolic acidosis. Since all the base, or bicarb, HCO3, in the intestines goes from the body and into the potty, leaving the body in acidosis. Now let's take a look at our options. Option A, respiratory acidosis. No, this client is not retaining CO2 with that low and slow breathing in respiratory acidosis. Kind of sounding like someone sleeping, right? Now, option B, also incorrect, respiratory alkalosis. The client is not panning like a dog in hal, 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 halkalosis, right? This is typically from hyperventilation, where we're breathing off all that CO2. Now, option C, metabolic acidosis. Yes, as mentioned before, if you poop out your acidosis with diarrhea, then you'll be in metabolic acidosis. And option D is incorrect because metabolic alkalosis, this is typically for vomiting up all that stomach acid. So think metabolic alkalosis. Sounds like you're vomiting, right? Okay, moving on to question two. What is the underlying pathophysiology for respiratory acidosis in a client with COPD? So again, pause your screen and try your best to answer this question in about 60 seconds. Okay, let's break this question down. The question's asking for the underlying pathophysiology for the key problem here, respiratory acidosis in a client with COPD. So before looking at the options, always think, what two things do you know about COPD and respiratory acidosis? So COPD, that chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, just think chronic destruction of the lungs, specifically, inelastic alveoli from smoking and pollutants. So gas exchange is decreased. Hey everyone, Nurse Mike here from simplenursing.com. Did you get your beautifully handcrafted study guide bundle yet? It highlights the key points and memory tricks in this video. Plus get 900 more videos not here on YouTube, all neatly organized in the playlist. Along with thousands of practice questions written by actual NCLEX writers. So don't be scared, be prepared. Try it free today. Visit simplenursing.com. Retaining more CO2 in COPD, which basically pushes the body into respiratory acidosis from too much carbon dioxide, which I call carbon diacid as a memory trick because it pushes the body into acidosis. So D would be the most correct here. But let's break down the other options real quick. So option A, an airway obstruction with mucus. Now this is incorrect, since mucus is not the main factor in COPD. So remember, COPD, that chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is from chronic destruction of the lungs. Now B is incorrect as well. Excessive HCO3 excretion via the kidneys. No, 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 no. COPD does not have to do with the kidneys but rather the lungs primarily as the underlying patho. Now option C is incorrect because hyperventilation and blowing off excess CO2 is a big no. So with COPD, we may have actually increased respiratory rate with purslip breathing, but the underlying patho is from destruction of the lungs. So option D is the most correct here because CO2 retention with inelastic alveoli, yes, this is the root cause or the underlying patho here. So just remember once again, 
COPD, that chronic obstructive, is from chronic destruction of the lungs with inelastic alveoli from smoking or pollutants. So again, gas exchange is decreased. Question it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.